What's going on everybody? My name is Brendan. Welcome to Dad Planet, my little corner on YouTube. And if you are new to the channel, I'm a full-time reseller that resells the majority of the goods that I source at the bins and at the retail thrift stores, marketplace, Craigslist, sometimes estate sales on eBay. That's the platform that I use the most. Most recently, uh, yesterday, I went to the Goodwill bins and I wanna do a little bit of a haul video where I just kinda show you everything that I bought. I'll show you exactly what I spent. I have the receipt right here. I don't know if you can see that. It was a total of $27.04. So I'm gonna show you 17 of the items that I bought recently and then what I think I can resell them for on eBay. But yeah, let's, uh, let's do a haul video and uh, let's get into it. Okay, so the first item that I grabbed, it's a little bit of a heavier item, so it, it's gonna cost me around, I'm gonna say five, six, seven dollars because it was about three pounds. It's a phone soap, I know you guys can see that. Phone soap, tablet, like UV ray phone sanitizer, tablet sanitizer. They have the smaller ones for like the iPhones that you can sa have sanitized, but these are for the larger tablet type items. You open that up, UV rays, pop in and it's supposed to sanitize to a certain extent your phone free from germs, your tablet free from germs. So I picked up this item now last year around this time, these probably would have gotten double uh, of what I think I can get for them. So on the low end, I'm thinking maybe $30 for that. And on the high end, I think I can probably get $40 for it. Again, they're not the home runs that they were last year, but they're still in demand. So I expect that I can get at least $30 for that item. The next item here is Doug Volume 2 VHS from Nickelodeon. And again, a lot of bread and butter here. This I might actually pair with some other Nickelodeon VHS tapes as they come up in the bins. But this one, I just on its own, I can at least get $10 for. And again, it only cost me about $0.99 cents due to the $1.59 like bulk per pound rate that they offer at the Goodwill outlet, which is different, of course, the, than the retail stores. Retail stores, I might have gotten this for 99 cents as well. Sometimes some stores now, they're charging a buck 99 for VHS. So still a good find. Tapes in decent condition. So I'm gonna say $10 on this one if I decide to just sell the tape. All right, next are these Garfield stickers. Just, I mean, you know, this may, if this cost me a quarter, I would be surprised now. On it, it says uh, copyright 1978. Now, they started U using UPCs regularly in 74, so there's a chance that this is from 1978. I have my doubts, but it's possible. Uh, at any rate, I'm pretty sure that I can get 15 bucks for these. They're super cute. There's one that where he's got a Santa hat on down here, and the rest are like, they're almost like the bubble stickers. They're not flat. They kind of pop out. And there is resale, there are resale comps on them. So I liked, I like this super cheap and I'm almost certain again that I can get 15 bucks for that. Okay, next one now, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these cause this could go in like a bulk toy lot. They're just a set of John Deere keys. I have to test it. This, this opens up, there's a battery backing and then you're supposed to be able to either get lights and sounds, there's a little um, electronic like sound operation, sound like, bank right here so ten dollars at the most but again i do junk drawer lots that i'm either going to offer just to resell on ebay or i might put it in like a junk drawer toy lot with a bunch of other things to sell on the website once that becomes available which is happening shortly by the way so um so it just depends but 10, 10 bucks for these there's there's no real solid comps that i could find on them but i'm, I'm pretty sure that if it works i can get 10 bucks okay next is a pair of Birkenstock. I believe these are Arizona. These are kid size. Now, if you look, and I'll try to get it as clear as possible, there's some issues right here. There's like a little chunk of the cork um, broken off of the top here. There's considerable wear on the bottoms. But what I've learned about Birkenstocks is even in this condition, there's a market for it. And even if they are kid sizes, uh, these will still sell. They are authentic and they're very, very light. So these cost about a dollar after you put them on the scale. 
And I'm going to say just in the condition that they're in, it's going to be about 20 bucks. I'm, I'm fairly certain that I can get $20 for this. I don't know. It's really hard to see because they're so worn uh, what the actual size was. So it could be just a very small adult size. It could be a youth size at any rate. Um, I'm still I'm still pretty positive that I can get $20 for these, um, whether they're kids or whether they're adult. Okay, now the next one here is this North Face jacket. The style that I believe this falls under is either Osito or Denali. I think this is closer to the Denali style for North Face. And when I buy youth, I mean, really when I buy any jacket, but especially when I buy youth jackets, the thing that I, I wanna make certain it, it works first is all the zippers. So to do all the zippers function, these ones do both on the pockets and then in the fronts. But I also wanna make sure that the sleeves are clean, or at least if they're not, that they can be clean, because I'm gonna put this in the wash as soon as I'm done recording this video. And then the bottom like lining, how clean is the bottom lining? This one looks pretty good. And uh, of course the collar, the interior collar. And again, this one may be a, a very, very slight amount of discoloration, but not, not a lot. So this will go in the wash and it's gonna come out fairly clean once it's said and done. And I'm pretty sure that I can get $25 for this. And then again, I haven't decided if I'm gonna list all of these items in my eBay store, or I'm going to put some of them in, in bulk lots or all of it, but a lot of like very easy to sell bread and butter items. And this one, um, again, $25, I'm almost certain that I can get, especially because of the color. It's like aqua turquoise blue. It's a, it's a really pretty color. And again, in really good shape. All right, next item is a Loren, Ralph Loren rugby uh, hooded shirt hooded sweatshirt it's like more like a just a, a hooded shirt than it is a, a sweatshirt the the issue that i have with this is if you look at polo ralph Lauren rugby as a keyword there's a lot of really like 50 60 70 dollars and above sales for pre-owned goods there's a huge market for the rugby style for polo ralph Lauren. But this is loren ralph Lauren. they target a different market with this um segment of their brand their overall brand the ralph Lauren brand so it's rugby style because of the strings and then again it's got a pretty like standard rugby colorway look the dark blue the royal blue and then the yellow at the top it was really hard to find comparable sales on this because every time you search Lauren ralph Lauren, all the polo ralph Lauren rugby stuff comes up so i think still even though it's Lauren ralph Lauren, that i can get between I'm gonna say 40 and $50 for this garment. And so I would be very, very happy with 40 bucks on this, but I'm gonna potentially list it for 50 because again, I, th I think there's still a market for it because of the colorway, the condition that it's in. Um, and uh, you know, the fact that it's just a, a desirable style, the rugby style. So 50 bucks, I'm almost, uh, Almost sure I can get that, but again, I'd be happy if I got just 40 for it. Okay, the next one, this thing is kind of big. And it is, I don't know if you guys can see this apparatus here. So this is a like spine straightener. I haven't really even untangled it, so it's kind of all over the place, but Autobach Cyber Spine, um, is what the name of the brand and the style is. So it's just a, um, a really solid, and it's in great condition, by the way, uh, a nice solid back brace here. I don't remember what the exact like style number was on it, but comparable sales for this item, the most recent one sold for about $40. So I think that's where I'm going to land with that one. 40 bucks is what I'm gonna list that at. Okay, the next one. Now, I don't love the comparables on this next item. So these are a pair of Crevo. They're just your basic like leather canvas looking style shoes. The, the shoes, there were only a couple of bins that they swapped out when I was there uh, most recently at the outlet. And this was really like the only acceptable pair that I could, that I could kind of fork out. And I, again, I don't like the comps on these, so I think I'm just gonna like bargain basement these at twenty dollars and and move them. They um they you know they cost around I'm gonna say three three bucks maybe just under that because they're almost two pounds. Um, so they were a little bit heavier and they're they're in okay condition. I mean the soles aren't that bad. The style on this one is Palomino two twenty five. If I have that correct, yes, Palomino two twenty five. 
And again, even new listed, they're like only asking 40 bucks. So I think at $20, I'll be lucky. And, uh, you know, I, I'll be happy to sell them at, at even at 20 bucks. So that's what I'm going to list that at. But it, shoes were like few and far between this day. So even just coming away with like the Burks that I got and then this pair, good enough for me. But again, no like massive hitters that I could find uh, on this on this particular trip. So we'll see how that goes with those. All right, next one, Katy Perry um, Witness Tour short from uh, 2017, 2018. It's double-sided. This is a size medium for this shirt. And there is a most recent comp of either 17 or $18 with free shipping. So 10 to 15 bucks for me is what I'm gonna end up listing that at. And uh, we'll move on from that one. Next one is this uh, Girl Scouts Junior book here. And books, I think, are like 60 cents a pound at the uh, at the Goodwill outlet. So this was like uh, two or three dollars. But I've sold probably three or four of these before, and uh, I know I can get. What did I write down? I know I can get $15 for this. Again, assuming that all of the pages are still intact, which it does. It looks relatively like filled. There's, um, you know, some stickers in the back here that are, I don't know if you can see this, that are like completely untouched. So the thing looks like it's pretty much all intact. And if it is, $15 for this is probably what I'll get. And this is like basically a guaranteed sale. This is a really easy sale. Again, three or four of these I sold in like the past, uh, I would say 24 calendar months. But every time I, every time I pick it up, um, if it's reasonably priced, I, I grab it and I sell it. Okay, next one. What do I have written down? Girl Scouts and then, okay. These kind of items I, I like because sometimes there's no good comparable like data to go on and you just have to use your gut instinct. I do that a lot in my store. So this is a, the band is called Home Wrecker. I think it's like Slash Death Metal, something like that. It's long sleeve, double-sided. There's the back. Uh, and then there's artwork down the, down, the, um, down the arms as well. So on something like this, I'm going to list this at $30 and we'll see where it lands. There's, again, just not a ton of comparable data, but I know that there's a market for death metal. I know there's a market for thrash metal and people tend to like look for some obscure items like in that vein. The size of that shirt is a 2XL, so it's kind of a wheelhouse size again for resale and the fact that it's long sleeve like when you put it all together like i'm almost certain that i can get 30 dollars. and i do this often in my stores was like i can't find a good comparable but i just kind of know that at a certain point someone's going to scoop this up for uh, this price they're in the market for this price you know they, they would have paid 30 to 50 dollars at the concert for that shirt at any rate so um 30 bucks is where i'm going to put that it's unique there aren't any like it on the internet and uh, I know there's a market out there somewhere at some point who is going to pick that up. So 30 bucks is where I think that one's going to land. All right, next one. Very basic. I mean, this might have cost 20 to 30 cents. Joshua Tree, Desert Blooms, your ba just a basic hat. Mighty Fine is the brand. There's nothing to this here. It's a $10 bill. It will eventually sell. But because it's super light and I list them super fast, it's a real easy $10 for me to make. So again, tons of bread and butter and that's you know why i like showing you the bread and butter haul videos because again that's the majority of what i sell it's not always the sexy stuff in the what's sold videos so all right where well, is the next one next one a very easy 15 dollars bill this is a daniel tiger uh phone it works the batteries uh, there's no corrosion in the battery compartment the reason i know this is because my daughter my youngest daughter watches the show so um, she, uh, she saw this ahead of time and I told her that she could not have it. I have to sell it, but it works. It's in great shape and there is solid comparable data on these. So $15 that will sell relatively quickly. Next one, a couple of small ones. This is Professor Inkling from the show, The Octonauts. This is $10 every single time you list it. I've just sold probably $150 worth of Octonauts the last couple of days on a, a bulk lot that I bought on Facebook Marketplace. This came from the outlet, so that's $10 for Inkling. And then I also have um, Tweak the Bunny. This is like a pretty solid $7. I might hold out for 10, or I might just hold off altogether and try to get some more of the characters. I was looking and I just, between the two of them, I couldn't find any of the other ones, which was kind of a bummer, but they do turn up in the bins at the bottom. Uh, so again, she's gotta be cleaned up a little bit, but 
I think it's a it's either sheer he, I don't know. I'm gonna tweak the bunny for those of you that have kids that watch Octonauts will have to school me on that, but um seven bucks for sure, ten dollars if I want to wait a little bit longer, um, especially if I can get her a little bit cleaner than than she currently is. But that's so what we'll get for that. And then the last item is this Eddie Bauer utility vest. So it's like a utility vest, windbreaker. It's a men's size 2XL. The keywords you could use for something like this is like fishing vest, um, potentially hunting, like four pockets. Some those are some of the keywords that would come up. This one is navy blue. It's in wonderful condition. Very, very light. So it was like under a pound. So this cost maybe a buck fifty to a buck sixty. And I'm gonna list this one, I think, for $30. Phenomenal condition. So totaling everything up. At the low end, I think I've got around $330. On the high end, it's around $370 to $380, all said and done, if I get top dollar for every one of those items. But yes, that's you know, that's 17. There were a few other like little little toys that I didn't include in there because those are going to be um, they have no value on their own. They're going to be put into like some of those junk lots already. So it didn't make any sense putting them in the video. But all in all, that's sick, that's 17 items. And, you know, for what I paid to get 370 to 380 dollars on the top end is really good. And that's kind of how the business, from my perspective, should be run. Continue to grow my inventory, get the bread and butter stuff in there, and then uh, drop those occasional home runs. And they kind of all uh, even, even themselves out at the end of the day. So hope you enjoyed that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see more haul videos like that, like especially where I go to the bins or even the retail stores and I itemize everything, show you what I spent, we take a look at all the items and I tell you what I think I can get for them at the end of the day, uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I'll do more videos like that. But uh, yeah, leave a like on this one if you liked what you saw. And uh, that's it. That's all I got for you. Brendan here, Dead Planet. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll catch you in the next video.